I've been dying to try this for a while, but for one reason or another, I just never got around to it. So last night, I decided to do a fresh Debian net install in VirtualBox and install this window manager. And I'm speaking about awesome, and you'll find out why it's awesome right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, this is for all of you out there who think you might be a computer geek. This might appeal to you. Now, if I were just coming in from Windows and somebody suggested that I try this as my first Linux desktop, I would tell them where they could put this Linux desktop. But the thing is, this has some really good uses for a number of people, especially people that like to program and love staring at lines of code. People like me, on the other hand, love to look at eye candy and wobble our windows, and that's something you don't do in Awesome. What makes this awesome is whenever you open a window, it tiles everything on the screen so you can have multiple windows open, and that sort of thing. The way you navigate in here, is there's this A in the upper corner of the screen. It has a menu. You can navigate this way, or you can right-click on your desktop and then navigate. Some of the things you can do is open up the manual. And this will give you the instructions for using this. You can right-click on this and then edit the configuration file, and these are opened in Nano. And you would just simply scroll down and make the changes in here that you want to change to customize this. And I mean, there are a number of customizations you can do. Now, if you really don't want to read through this manual here, well, I have a better option for you, and that, of course, is the ArchWiki. The ArchWiki always has excellent explanations on how to configure things and set things up and uh, actually this is this was my preferred method just to be able to explore around and see some of the fun things that you can do with this and so I highly recommend going to archlinux.org and going into their wiki and doing a search for awesome if this is something you think you would like to have and something else I would like to note, every time you open up a new window, instead of lining things up from, from the right, it actually puts it on the left. So uh, the left one here is the last window you opened, and the second, and then the, the first one I already had this one opened uh, before I started recording. And then, of course, after you have things set up how you want, then pretty much, you know, you have a nice little workspace with all of your windows open and you can stare at the screen and say, pretty. And you can see I've already done a few things. I figured I'd play around with the terminal and do some fun things with it and that sort of thing. But um, pretty much um, that's all. I really have to say about it. I can't wobble my windows. That's no fun. But the thing is, you can still do a number of uh, other things. Uh, there are a few things I haven't figured out. This does have a, a text-based web browser, but when I opened it, um, I guess there's some more things I have to learn. I don't expect to see a boot camp on this because uh, <laughs> I think I'd much rather slam my finger in a car door before doing that. But you can easily access things on your system. So, I mean, if you want to, you know, uh, use any applications or games that come preloaded with this, you can. Oh, look, and we even have a chess game here that is text-based. And I don't know how to play chess, so. All right, cool. Let's see what else we have in here while, uh, because this video hasn't been rolling very long. Okay, cool. So, you know, you can access uh, GTK applications and that sort of thing as well in here. And I, I knew we would be able to because obviously the web browser was working. But um, I can see where this is useful for some people. Just not my cup of tea. So, for those of you who want to give this a try, 
It's very easy to install this. Just open up a terminal in your Debian based system and type in this command sudo apt hyphen get install awesome. And also, you'll have to log out of your system, select awesome, and then log back in. And then, of course, if you really, uh, you know, so that you don't get lost, if you want to exit, all you have to do is just go into the awesome menu and select quit. And then, of course, that will take you back to your login screen. My final thoughts on awesome. <laughs> for some people, it is awesome. But for me, yeah. But hey, it was fun to look at, though. Thanks for suggesting it.